all right good evening students very very warm welcome and i congratulate you shivangi for your good performance till date you are working hard your performance is very good and you are answering the questions in a very enthusiastic way and your hard work will be rewarded in the examinations so it is very good of us that moreover the success of our teaching depends on how much you have learned and how will we evaluate how much you have learned students only when you will be able to answer the questions which are important for the examinations yes sir so your attempt to answer question is very good and as we said till date student what we have been discussing in the coordination compounds uh, we started with what are coordination compounds what is the difference between coordination compounds and double sorts uh, then we gave a werner's theory of the coordination compounds what was the key key what was the key take away from the werner's theory what is the key take away from werner's theory one line answer What is the key take away? Uh, sir, one of the theory said that there are two types of valencies. Yes. A uh, primary valency and a secondary valency. The primary valency is ionizable in nature and is equal to the oxidation number, and secondary valency is non-ionizable in nature and is equal to the coordination number. Okay. On what basis Werner proposed his gave his postulates or theory Werner's theory of coordination compound? What was the experiment which was done by Werner students? he was preparing compounds of cocl3 with ammonia and ammonia. he observed different colored compounds and different conductivity values different amounts of chloride ion precipitated and he proposed a yes sir theory and known as the father of the coordination compounds was awarded nobel prize in chemistry also after that students we have defined certain terms in the coordination compounds yes sir we have defined what is coordination entity what is a central atom and the most important part in that is the type of ligands yes sir which are going to form these coordination compounds students ligands so ligands are what student basically lewis bases they can have donate the lone pair of electrons to the central metal atom so there should be vacant orbitals in the central metal to accept the lone pair of electrons therefore yes. students the central metal atom is a lewis acid so you have lewis acid and a lewis base student ligand and then these coordination compounds we have shown you how it is formed in the list of the ligand students we told you there are monodental ligands di poly dental ligands amiral ligands chelating ligands i am pointing out where the question is going to be come students be careful pay attention yes, to sir. yes sir yes sir give me example of hexadental ligand students Uh, hexadentate ligand is uh, edta4 minus okay thank you very much for now you you have understood the idea that there are teeth to be created students so edta you will see the application of edta also is very important very well used edta and what is a chelating what is a chelating ligand students what is it? this question i am putting going to show you some questions which were asked in the paper very soon what is a chelating ligand uh, sir chelating ligand ligands are those ligands which uses two or more sites for bonding which causes cyclization cyclic rings are formed yes sir cyclic rings are formed and the result of the cyclic ring is a high stability the stability increases if i take a complex of you know cunh3 6 replace it with en3 en3 is in diamine students stability increases increases 12 times so students chelation increases the stability but the 
type of ring formed mostly five or six membered depends on and if you have a smaller rings they won't be stable therefore the formation of such keyled compound is not possible then we talked of one very important point students ambient nucleophiles or ambient ligands ambient is a word i'm using a lot in chemistry which is going to be important question for our students in organic chemistry also i talked of ambient nucleophiles nucleophiles so student uh, uh, what is a ambient nucleophile so uh, sir ambient uh, nucleophile uh, has two nucleophilic centers and only one one of the two is going to be used used for bonding for the formation of the coordination complex students out of the two one will act as a ligand therefore they will give rise to two isomers two isomer student what is the name of that isomer student which they will give to us what isomer is uh, ambidently nucleophile uh, they give linkage isomers okay linkage isomers very important after that students uh, it, it, let me uh, show you one important thing here student that uh, the ligands list i am telling you because this is required uh, there will be question on iupc naming also certain uh, confusion is there among the students uh, the there are anionic ligand there are neutral ligands the charges of the ligands are important in order to calculate the oxidation number of the metal atom in a coordination complex students for example here i got some uh, here i got a list from some sources students for the different type of ligands because that ligand is a great variety and uh, there were, i searched in some of the question papers i found that uh, in some paper sir, there were certain ligands the charge of which was not clear therefore students you see the type of ligands these are mono dented ligands mono dented ligands which i have here you can see mono dented ligands what are these students mono dented ligands mono dented ligands list sometimes they will give you a ligand student which we may not be aware of you see that this is a nitrogen tri ethylamine and you see hydrazine yes sir interesting thing is that in hydrazine student there are two the nitrogens see hydrazine which can act as donor but only one of the two acts as a donor at one when the complex is formed can you tell me why you can see that uh, somebody will say sir ki has to me that sir in this complex there are two nitrogens with two lone pairs of electron then it should be bidentate but it doesn't happen because to see that the, they are so close to each other now how will the it is not possible for both of them to give uh, you see simultaneously the lone pair of electrons to metal it will not be feasible yes so because uh, such a uh, ring three membered is not possible they they, they are you see sterically it is not possible geometrically it is not possible it is not going so only one of the two nitrogen will be utilized for the formation of the ligand metal bond so that is why it has been put as a mono dented ligand got it yes sir whereas ethylene diamine what happens you can see the the distance between these two you can see geometrically you have this yes, so this will give this will give so then you can say they are sterically possible because of this they are getting farther away from each other but here if they give student this is not possible because this is no way neither sterically nor geometrically feasible got my point so yes, this you can see that five membered ring you know about that en theek hai you can see that yes sir okay and uh, hydroxyl amine and this again you see there are two atoms oxygen and nitrogen but o, o is bound to the h students so nitrogen is a donor there this is a pyridine then triphenyl phosphine students 
uh, acetonitrile, dinitrogen, phosphorus, trichloride. These are neutral ligands. There is no charge on them. Neutral ligands, because when you find the when you find the oxidation state of the metal, then you have to see the charge. That's why I am giving. Because in IUPAC naming somewhere it appeared. Then there was a confusion of the what is the charge on it. A student told me, sir, I, we don't know it. We have not seen this ligand. Where is it? So that is the reason a list has been given. Neutral ligands. They are, they, then you know their charge is zero. Zero. Carbonyl is so famous. You know, very important. Yes, sir. Nitrosyl is important. Thiocarbonyl. Thiocarbonyl. Student. Carbonyl. And when I replace oxygen with the sulfur, sulfur Thio. is thio. Thiocarbonyl. Aqua is always there. Aqua. Now the NH3 amine, but the what name we give to the amine student? It is a double M or a single M? Double M. Double M? In the amine, which I uh, told you in the coordination complexes? Uh, sir, in coordination complexes, it has double M and otherwise it has single M. Okay, be, be careful now. That was a question I put up before you, student, that uh, what we are using in the uh, coordination complexes. Uh, uh, whether it is a double M or single M, because this is important question. Uh, uh, double M. So students, um, uh, we uh, know that these are very, very commonly asked and used in the papers, these uh, complexes which we are talking about. Uh, we The spelling is also important because there could be some confusion among these students, some confusion could be there. And we should know what we are writing. And here you see negative are those which have a charge here. These are minus one, minus one. And now we say chlorido, iodido, bromido, fluorido, oxo, paroxo, paroxo. Oxo and paroxo. There is oxygen, oxygen linked. Superoxo, Marcapto, Sulfito, Sulfato, Thiosulfato. Interesting, Thiosulfato. You see what is Thiosulfato? H2O3, H2O3 student 2 minus. What it looks like? How many oxygens are there? This is thiosulfato. Yes, sir. Negative, negative. Actually, there is a resonance between these three oxygens. So there will be different resonating structures of that. This has got two minus charge. It itself is acting as a monodendent ligand, actually. It gives only one donor site. One donor site. Thio, what is the name of this? Thiosulfato. 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 Carbonato students. Carbonato CO3. That also, you know. Carbonato. How do you write? This is a carbonato. CO3. 2 minus. 2 minus. Again, it is a, there is a resonance between these two when we write the Levy structure. These are actually acting as a monodentate. They cannot act as dilated because I told you sterically it is not feasible. They, once they, one atom donates, the other will not be able to do that. That, that the geometry is like that, students. Because otherwise there could be more than one atom which could donate. Yes. A cyanido. This is cyanido student CN minus. Now in this, this is a, what type of ligand is this? CN minus, important. What type of ligand is this? Uh, sir, it is ambidentate. Ambidentate ligand, very important. Very important questions for the paper student, you know. What you are saying? Students. So carbon or nitrogen, carbon or nitrogen, this. But out of the two, only one is possible. Same thing I told you, if they are two, why don't they two go together? It is not possible, na? 
how is how it will be possible see this has a linear shape then they, they cannot be together act as a ligand together sterically it is not feasible right you understood the point yes sir okay this is a ni ni nitro nitro again important ambient nucleophile student yes sir and o n double bond o you are saying so what we write then nitrito nitrito n nitrito o and thiocyanate is important these ones which i have written here students what is important they can bond through nitrogen or oxygen nitrogen or oxygen what type of these ligands are ambient ambient okay the list of ambient then thiocyanate thiocyanato and isothiocyanato coordinating through sulfur or coordinating through the nitrogen theek hai sulfur or nitrogen what type of ligand is this ambient yes sir ambient ambient i am focusing on ambient important question amb ambient ligand important question for the paper student you are aware they will they have asked simply give one example of ambient ligand now student could not write it they know it but could not write the correct what am this structure of that acetato amido e when you have one h two hydrogen a amido amide nh2 is a nh3 is amine and nh2 minus is amido and if you have students replace another hydrogen that becomes imido m3 minus is azido then this dimethyl amido hydroxo ethoxo nitrato no3 minus 1 charge is minus 1 what is that no3 minus 1 what is that nitrato nitrato no2 minus is what is the difference nitrato and nitrito nitrito this is important question was there in one of the example they have put these two and said ki write the what type of isomers are possible even certain positive ligands are there student as it is very rare that positive ligands will act as a nucleophile but there could be as you see nitronium ion nitrosium the nitrogen has got lone pair of electrons in these ammonium ion hydronium ion students so you can see the positive ligands these are very very rare are not going to be used in most of the coordinations which i have told you we are not using but this was just a list we got it from some other places thought it is better to know them and have some idea about these coordination complexes which we are writing students yes sir so uh, what we said students the uh, there are certain uh, ligands which will be used a lot students and we will continue to name them for example in the board student there was a question like this give an example of linkage isomers how the questions are put to the students for example give example of the linkage isomers student now you have to write the write the formula of the linkage isomer now how will you write you have to write it now now the question is you know what is linkage isomer but do you remember yes sir, yes, sir. what can you give an example of that student yes sir how will we uh, give? Do... sir one example could be 
the CO NH3 whole 5 O N O uh, and uh, N O O N O and N O 2. Okay. Why why did I talk to you just now about the ambient nucleophile? That okay questions could be there, students. You are saying C C O N H3 5 O N O 2. N O2 and O N O. And you are saying C O N H3 5 O O N O. This is not correct. No, because there is how much you are what is the oxidation number of this cobalt here? Uh, sir, counter ion here will be C L. You can see if you don't put a counter ion, you put the charge on the top of it. Yes, what is the, it will be plus. What is the oxidation number of cobalt most of the time, student? What what oxidation number is there? You are aware of cobalt 3 and cobalt 2, mostly cobalt 3 plus. So students, uh, if I put 2 plus and 2 plus, because this NO2 minus, how much charge I have shown you? 2 minus. Are NO2, what is the charge on NO2? An ionic ligand. Just now I told you. That is only Min minus one. Minus. So this cobalt now becomes plus three. Thiga? Or if you want to remove this, then you will put some, what you can put? You can put any negative ion like Cl or Br. Br. They are minus one. Then you will put, if I remove this, then what it becomes? Co. And that's three five N O two Cl two. Second yes. one will be C O N H three five O N O O N O Cl two. So students, this is an example of linkage isomers. Okay. You know, sometimes we know it and it may become difficult in the exam to write the formula students. And you can see that first time if you are will be doing some problem with the charge of this. That is why this is, is important student when we say question number two here on the screen. This, this was asked in the board paper student. This is the answer one. What you are writing, give an example of coordination isomerism. Coordination mm -hmm. isomer student. Again, certain easy and typical case should be known to you. That is why I. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, here uh, example of coordination isomerism can be cobalt, hmm. NH3 whole 6, 3 plus, cobalt, and chromium. NH3 whole 6, 3 plus. 3 plus, and, and chromium CN6 whole 3 minus. This one. 3 plus and 3, yes sir. 3 plus and 3 minus. And when I write the complex, there is no charge on the complex. Where is the charge on the complex? When I write a compound student, is there any charge on the compound? Did I ever write that? No, sir. Then why you are writing? You, you will not write anything. If you we are not splitting it, did he ask that? No. Any, any compound you see, is not having a charge. Only ion, ions have charge. This is not an ion. And now what do you do then? You will replace cobalt with? Chromium. Chromium. Okay. 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 What do you get? Cobalt is replaced with chromium. This will be CO, CN6. Important point. Important. This is a cation. This is a cation. This is an ion student. Yes, sir. What is the charge on this? If I now, if, if the question is different, then we have to see student when they ask you to write the write the IUPAC name. Then the question becomes different. What is in this case? What will be the charge, students? Uh, charge now, will be three plus IC, and three minus. If I write like this, student uh, three plus. And this will be CR, CN, 6, 3 minus. Yeah. Cation first, anion second. So what will be the name student then? What will be the name?
What is the if I have to write the IUPAC name of not the first one the the first one this one I am saying. What is the IUPAC name of this student? This is what examine quart three. Examine quart three. And what is that? Hexa cyanide. Hexa cyanide. Hmm. And uh, it is an ion X. So it will be uh, cobaltate. Where is cobalt? Chromium. Chrom. Cro uh, chromate. 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 Chromate three. Chromate three. See how the questions are framed in the paper. This was just to give you some idea, students. How much we are learning, where we are going, and sometimes it seems to us that we know, but what we find, students, writing could be a problem in the paper. In the paper, we have to be very alert and very very careful. So uh, I'm not talking of all the question. Question number eight is on the screen, students. Just try to see question number eight. We will discuss okay. some other time more questions because I have to do one part or other. What when which complex is formed when an decomposed AgBr is washed with hypo solution in photography? This was given in board paper, student. You know what is hypo solution, students? Photography in photography they are using hypo solution. What is hypo solution? Do you know that, student? What is hypo solution? Hypo solution is a sodium thiosulfate student. What is the formula of sodium thiosulfate? Na two S two O three so. Na two S two O three. That is the reason I showed you certain ligands. Because in this question, student, the students were not even knowing what is the anion which is there. Which ion? Anion is this? Just now I showed you. Which anion was that? S two O three two minus. Which is that anion, student? What I told you? Thio sulfato. Thio sulfato. Very uncommon, na? Huh? That was the problem. This was a difficult question. Thio sulfato. Thio sulfato. So, student, uh, what will happen now if such a question is given? Students are in great trouble because first of all, they don't know the formula of hypo. Then, what reaction is taking place, student? What is the reaction that also he has not given? This is a question in the All India two zero one three. So, what will happen, students? What is the reaction? What is it reacting? AgBr. This AgBr, you know, is used in photography, photosensitive material. Yes, sir. And you are acting with Na2S2O3. Student, a complex is going to be formed. Student, that complex is AgS2O3. Two minus. What the charge is important? Silver is in which oxidation state? You should know that now. What is the oxidation state of silver in the transition element? Student. This is actually N A three. So, student, you have to plus that. What you will get? A silver is gone. N A N A B R. N A B R, student. So, if you have to of this, then N A three A G like this. Now, the question is, you have to name this complex. This complex. See that story. Okay. It was a difficult question. This will be. Um, sodium. This will be sodium. Dye. You have sodium. Seto. Sodium is there. Then what is the name of that? Thiosulfato. Dye. Dye thiosulfato. Dye two 
मिथायो सल्फेटो सल्फेटो ठीक है एंड व्हाट इज द सिल्वर इन द एनाइनिंग का दिस इज द एनाइनिक कॉम्प्लेक्स दिस इज कैटायनिक दिस इज कैटायन एनाइनिक कॉम्प्लेक्स सो डाई थायो सल्फेटो आर आर्जेंटेट जेंटेट स्पेलिंग हैव टू बी केयरफुल स्टूडेंट आर्जेंटेट व्हाट इज द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ सिल्वर Now that one is there for the students because they have not seen thiosulfate. Oh, you have what we have shown you two minus charge on the top of that. I have already shown you students. So what will be the result of that? What is will be uh, the oxidation number of silver? One. One. You have doubt. This is plus one into three. Silver is X, and what is this? X. And this is uh, minus four. Minus two. Two into minus two. Uh, minus two into two equal to zero. So what is the value of X now? Plus one. One. Plus one. It was a difficult thing. You see, got it? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, sir. Here is some of the things which I wanted to show you, student. Now why I took so much trouble in searching these questions because I know here students will do. I mean, some problem is there. If you have not done it, it is not easy. That was the question. Okay, then this was just a brain, brain thought. And here I got these list also because a few questions which I found were I not sure what was the charge on those ligands, and it looked thiosulfate. Better looked that it could act as a There are sulfur and oxygen both can donate electron, but only one of the two will donate. We have given reasons for that also. So yes. how high they are acting monodentate, though they could be acting as they they are coming in the category of ambient ambient nucleophile. Otherwise, so students ambient nucleophiles are very important. That was the reason, student. Now you see one important factor in this. What I was going to talk the stability of the coordination compound, students. How will we if say that the coordination compound? How will we uh, um, quantitatively measure the stability of a coordination compound? So, what do you mean by stability, student? For example, when I say that this is metal, this is going to form a coordination complex ML four, student. Okay? If I say this is a coordination complex, student, then what we determine? What we determine? We can say that we will determine, student, the. Uh, um, the what we will do stability constant or formation constant what we call this as stability constant or thermodynamic formation. stability is given by what we will find the stability or formation constant formation constant student which i will represent by beta 4 what will be that ml4 divided by m L power four, ठीक है? Four, okay. This is the formula we already know from equilibrium constant chapter that you have read. It. But you know what happens is students uh, when when the when you have a metal ion in the aqueous solution in the aqueous solution, it is sur surrounded by what water molecules? Water. When the ligands when you add ligands, what happens? They are competing with these solvent molecules. Ligands are complete competing with the solvent molecule students and when they are competing with the solvent molecules the there are steps in which the this process takes place not first all four the ligands are coming so what could be the step student when such a process will take place what could be the process when such a process will take place we can say that first it is reacting with this and what is happening student you will get the formation of ml You are saying the stability constant for this is K one, which will be equal to what student? M L divided by M M and L. Then in the second step, you are saying M L is reacting with another. I am considering the formation of this M L four in steps. This is my step one student. Step two, then what you will get? This will form ML two student. When what will be the stability constant of this ML two? It will be divided ML two by divided by ML and L. L. Okay, thank you very much. Step three student. 
what will happen ml2 will react with another with L. the step 3 you are saying ml3 what will be the k3 student ml3 ml3 ml ml2 and l and l okay thank you very much students the step 4 you are saying the four final what is happening ml3 ml3 plus l Gives, gives you ML, ML four. four. What will be K four student? K four will be ML four, ML three and L divided by ML three and L. ML three and L. So students, uh, <coughs> experimentally we can measure K one, K two, K three, K four values. What do you can do? Measure K one, K two, K three and K four values. And students, if I multiply K one. Into K two into K three into K four. What will I get? You can. You have one minute to answer the question. If I multiply these two, what you are getting, student? Uh, Whatever cancels out, you will cancel out. You you yes. multiply K one K two K three K four students. What will you get, student? If you will see that, you will be getting. ML four, ML four divided by M into L M power four. This ah uh, this will become three four times, and other things will cancel, which is equal to what student? That beta four. So your stability constant is a multiplicative factor of the steps in which the ligands are being attaching to the metal ion in that process they are removing the the solvent h2o molecule if it is surrounding the metal ion mathematically you can do it this will be the answer theek hai okay there for yes. student beta 4 is related with the k1 k2 k3 k4 and if there are six ligand then k5 and k6 k5 and 6 This is what we call as a stability constant. What we call this as a stability constant. Okay. Okay. And if I want the uh, this is a formation constant. Formation. If I say the dissociation constant, student, what will it mean? Reverse of. Reverse order. Association constant. So that will be equal to one by beta four. Beta four. Reverse. Dissociation. Sometimes in the exam, he can give you dissociation constant. Sometimes he can give. Therefore, what we will do? Different complexes are being formed. Tetramine, copper. Uh, you can take that as cyanide complexes and different complexes. You can form a chelate complex, students. And you will measure what? You will measure their stability constants or formation constant values. The larger the value, the more stable is the. compound complex coordination complex uh, so this its type of stability is called thermodynamic stability we know that how these values are related with delta g delta g0 value delta g is a minus rt ln k you have read in 11th class students so this is a measurement and interesting thing is student because these values will be in some 10 power 10 powers if it is supposing uh, the value for this is coming to be uh, 10 power 11 supposing okay for a particular complex you are saying beta 4 is this so instead of this it is more convenient to talk of log of these values we okay. can take log k1 log k2 logs k3 And then I take log of beta four student. Why? Because that number will if log if b four is ten power eleven, what will be the log beta four then? What will be the value of if this b four is ten power eleven? What is the log value of that? It will be eleven. The log eleven. 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 Okay. This number is very comfortable to us. So the chemistry people know it that we have to use maths and why do why do you take in the hydronium ion concentration you use pH minus log of H plus then K A value you took P K A P K B why because these values will come in numbers which you can easily understand therefore larger the value of log of uh, beta four student the more stable is that 
coordination complex yes or no yes sir this is a thermodynamic stability student there are two types of stabilities which are important in chemistry one is called thermodynamically certain products are thermodynamically highly stable but still they are not formed can you tell me the reason thermodynamically it is highly stable but it doesn't happen student the what is the story of that you are saying thermodynamically graphite can be converted into diamond but we have, but, but graphite sir is kinetically it is a very slow process okay thank you very much that was my point student there is a thermodynamic stability there is a kinetic stability students whether such a change will happen slowly or at what speed if the speed is very very slow students and then what will happen thermodynamically possible but it is kinetically so slow that we don't experience that and it is going to be important so always students there are two types of stability in in organic reactions also we have to see reaction thermodynamically feasible but kinetically it is so slow then it is not happening or certain reactions kinetically are fast thermodynamically not stable so this will lead to different uh, whether products will be available when we will do the reaction or not is important such question become important in neat and other papers where the thermodynamic stability the extent to which complex will be formed or will be transformed into the species at point of equilibrium kinetic this helps in determine the speed with which transformation will occur to attain the state of equilibrium everything is an equilibrium how much time it will take to reach the equilibrium student if it will take a very very long time to reach the equilibrium this reaction is very very slow students uh, then also in chemistry it may not be of use to us if some reaction takes the 3 years to complete what interest do we have in waiting for 3 years and to form the product students you got my point yes sir so if it takes more time to formation in a in industry then also it will cost them lot of expenditures waiting for the product to be formed for so much days or hours is not a comfortable convenient situation all right so this point is understood what is a stability constant and let me go one step further student here you have the formation of the copper amine complex and we you can represent this student what i am saying cu2 plus reacts with ammonia student this is a important complex you use in chemistry a lot student and i am saying okay this complex is being formed you know write it like this now cu and h3 4 you know what is the color of this complex students is it used as a copper ions yes sir what is the color blue Blue, blue color complex. Many times they have asked why the blue color of copper ion is there when you add ammonium hydroxide. That is a blue colored complex. And if I say students the steps of this, uh, this uh, is my beta four copper two plus uh, one ligand. One ligand. What will be that? Cu and H three. N H three. Cu N H three. ठीक है? Yes sir. What will be the value of K one C U N H three? What is the charge? Two plus. Okay. Two plus. If I do a mistake, you will tell me. Sometimes I, I do mistake. Students, you are also equally good, and I learn and interact with you every time. You know it so well. These teaching, these classes are direct interactions. why we do it because we are going to learn students learn everything it is not that we are cramming no we are not cramming anything and in the process i could do some mistakes that is why i said ki my energy and the energy of the student should be high students if my energy will go down i will also sink and will do mistakes if your energy will sink sink then what you are learning nothing that is not my objective that is not my objective because students okay now what is happening here students nh3 2 2 plus what is the value of k2 students k2 is cu nh3 2 divided by 
what you are getting cu cu nh3 2 plus and nh3 and this is a charge also 2 plus 2 plus and this is 2 plus and the ligand nh3 nh3 okay i am writing the third equation co and h3 2 what is the charge 2 plus you two plus. one more ammonia plus h3 the more I work, the more I learn. You are very clear about that, students. Two N H three whole three. Writing two plus. And what will be the value of K three students? C U N H three. Now you put a three of that. Yes, sir. The charge is two plus, na? Two plus. Okay. So two plus, two plus divided by by C U N H three whole two twice. Twice two plus. Two plus. And and ligand is ammonia. Uh, another one I am writing C U N H three three whole three plus N H plus two plus one more N H three is coming, uh, and you are forming students C U C U N H three four whole four two, two. plus. Okay, and yes, what will be the value of K four students? C U N H three four two plus. Divided by, divided by CU NH3 whole 3 2 plus CU NH3 whole 3 2, two plus, plus and NH3 NH3 NH3. So you have got four values K4. Then what will as I said this is beta 4. Beta 4 will be equal to K1, K1 into K2, K2 K3, into K3 and into K4. K4. So what they said ki, somewhere you see they have given us the values of the logs of these, but they have provided the values of the logs in the book student. They have given values of the log K1, log K2 values have been provided students. Uh, log K1 is equal to 4.0, log K2 is given in the books as 3.2, log K3 is given uh, 2.7 uh, and log of this k4 has been given equal to uh, log of uh, k uh, to 2.0 so student then what is the log of beta 4 what is the value give 30 seconds 30 seconds log of k1 plus log of k2 plus log of K3, K3 plus log of K4. K4. How much is coming it? It will be 3.2 plus 2.7 plus 2.0. Okay, student. 11.9. All right. So, students, uh, you are getting 11.9. So that is a thermodynamic stability constant for the formation of tetraamine copper to iron. And similarly, this is a good case. So they compare it. You can compare this with other complexes. You can form other coordination compounds and find the values of the log beta 4. Okay? for log beta 4, log, log beta 6, if there are 6 ligands and compare the stability of these, compare the stability of these students. So yes, uh, it is interesting students that uh, if you will find, if you have Cu2 plus and CH2, NH2, CH2, NH2 students, then what complex is formed? Cu En twice. What is the charge? Two plus. Two plus. This is a chelating ligand. Yes, sir. Which will be more stable? This question has been put in the board paper. Which is more stable? This one or this one? Uh, sir, the Cu En whole two. This is more, more stable. stable. More stable. This is more stable student, and this is about. 12 times more stable than this complex. So if you will find their values of the uh, equilibrium uh, stability constant, this value will come much, much larger than this value. 
so this is a way of saying the uh, we can find the what we are finding the stability constant formation and we can find the dissociation if they say find the dissociation constant for example for example acha what first let us see what are the factors which affect the stability of the complex important question what factors will affect the factor student which will affect the stability of the complex charge on the central metal atom what it means if the charge is more will it be more stable or less stable fast 30 seconds charge on the central metal atom if the charge of the central metal atom increases student the complex will be more stable or less stable more stable more stable higher the charge student because it's a positive charge higher the charge on the central <coughs> central metal ion more stable is the complex if there is if they give you cobalt 2 plus and 3 plus with the same ligands then which will be more stable then we should know where the higher charge central metal atom more stable more stable ठीक है बेसिक नेचर ऑफ द लिगेंट स्टूडेंट टेल मी इफ द लिगेंट इज मोर बेसिक मोर बेसिक इज अ लिगेंट देन व्हाट विल हैपन द द कॉम्प्लेक्स स्टेबिलिटी विल इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज इफ यू इंक्रीज स्टूडेंट बेसिसिटी बेसिक नेचर मींस द लिविस बेस लिविस बेस इज स्ट्रांगर देन व्हाट विल हैपन then what will happen it will be more stable complex yes or no yes sir more stable complex okay yeah because it has to donate electrons if the more the power of donation of electron more stable presence of killer ring is important question important question for the paper whenever killer rings will be formed student what will happen this will increase the stability of the complex many fold student many fold this is the most important point our uh, questions are put on this killer ring you are aware of the killer rings now which are forming killer rings you have said even in diamine you have said etd4 minus and other uh, tri dendrite ligands are there students um, and dmg dimethyl glyoxime and others are also shown dmg dmg is dimethyl glyoxo glyoxime student that also acts as a bidentate ligand important bidentate ligand you know the instability constant or the dissociation constant of it is defined as reciprocal of the formation constant theek hai the yes sir instability constant can be obtained student by reciprocal for example this is a question calculate the overall complex dissociation equilibrium constant for cu nh3 2 plus Given beta four, beta four is given student. How much? Two point one into ten power thirty. For which complex? C U N H three whole C four plus. C U two plus four N H three is forming student. C U N H three four two. So what will be the uh, dissociation constant? One by beta four. Okay, so uh, we can say that dissociation constant, dissociation constant, uh, we can define as supposing uh, beta four dash will be one by beta four. So what is that? One by two point one into ten power thirteen. Thirteen. so around i can write if i write uh, uh, 5 into 10 power minus uh, 10 minus 13 minus 13 10 power minus 14 so we can calculate the values of this the uh, <coughs> dissociation constant is very small so that complex is quite stable in the case of this ammonia there is a very very negligible dissociation back dissociation is 10 minus 14 so naturally you have large amount of 
tetra okay. i mean complex very stable very stable complex if you have seen dmg what is it dmg dimethyl glyoxyto you know what is the formula of that how will you write dimethyl glyoxyto students dimethyl glyoxyto what is that c c h 3 C C H three students double bond N O H double bond N O H students one two three four one two N H two because it was N H two N H two O H N H two N H two N H two what was hydroxylamine N H two O H is hydroxylamine N H two O H is hydroxylamine so This is two and and so you are forming students. There are you see lone pair of electrons. So it can form kile compound students. You have copper or something or with nickel. See D M G dimethyl glyoxyamato. Such complexes are formed. And then this, uh, if you have some OH minus, they can give O minus, and then can, there can be hydrogen bonding also between another glyc, another molecule and this molecule. They become highly stable, highly stable. If you have another molecule of this, what will happen? Then OH, if you have a base O, then O minus O minus. What will happen? Hydrogen, hydrogen bonding is also possible in certain complexes. You will see that. So this is the. most important point we told you the stability of these complexes and on factors it depends students so we will see you in the next class mainly the application and question will be done which will complete the mainly question answer sessions and certain important applications of coordination compounds because it is a very important topic lot of questions are given because it biological use also there Okay then I wish you a very very happy new year happy new year sir and have a good time so i will meet you next year students good night bye bye thank you sir i hope you have enjoyed the session and see how much information i have been able to produce which can yes, help you in different examinations and as it needs a lot of hard work to bring these important points to the students my uh, request to the students please share our our contact and videos with as many friends as possible so that our hard work doesn't go waste it reaches more and more students yes sir because direct interaction is one second others who cannot do direct interaction they can watch the youtube lectures and benefit from the course so that more and more knowledge is spread among more students students i thank you and thank you very much and we say that kindly send it to your friends they can subscribe our channel it yes sir more motivation and we work more hard than 3 hours per producing one lecture and one hour to direct interaction is not a small thing so you can understand how much work is involved Okay then good night students all the best happy new year to you to your family. happy new year sir thank you sir your papa your brother sisters they all love you like you and to all your friends and relatives so yes sir we hope next year will be very bright and good for you and you will be able to fulfill all your dreams too okay okay thank you sir thank you sir okay